The absurd and deceitful warrant of the prosecutor in The Hague is aimed not only against Israel's Prime Minister and Defence Minister, it is aimed against the entire state of Israel. It is aimed against the idea of soldiers who are fighting with the utmost bravery against the vile murderers of Hamas who attacked us with horrendous brutality on October 7th. The prosecutor in The Hague, with what audacity do you dare compare between the Hamas monsters and the soldiers of the IDF, the world's most moral army? With what audacity do you compare Hamas that murdered, burned, butchered, decapitated, raped and kidnapped our brothers and sisters with the idea of soldiers fighting a just war unlike any other? with an unparalleled morality. It is clear that going in the direction of making a decision in the ICC about the crimes of occupation, the genocide they are committing is what we have been talking about for years. The ICC must not use double standards when it comes to dealing with the occupation. We have seen in other cases worldwide, it has moved fast to take a decision. But when it comes to us here in the occupied Palestine, things are different. Let me be clear, we reject the ICC's application of arrest warrants against Israeli leaders. Whatever these warrants may imply, there is no equivalence between Israel and Hamas. And it's clear Israel wants to all, do all it can to ensure civilian protection. But let me be clear, contrary to allegations against Israel made by the International Court of Justice, what's happening is not genocide. We reject that. We will always stand with Israel and the threats against its security. First reports from the world's second largest continent. Hello, I'm Alison Lagrange. A very warm welcome from Durban, South Africa. We get you the news and the newsmakers from Africa. South Africa goes to the polls on the 29th of May. 
I will track the election and bring you ground reports. Is it the end of the road for the African National Congress? And will former President Jacob Zuma stage a dramatic comeback? From elections, to climate change, to innovations and opportunities. As the world's attention shifts, we report from Africa, the heart of the Global South. Join me every weekday live on First Post.